Welcome back to quarterfinal action here at the Billabong Pro Tahiti. And we have a incredible heat coming up. A lot of implications on this heat. John John Florence versus Jordy Smith coming into this stop number seven. John John Florence number two on the Jeep leaderboard. Jordy Smith number three on the Jeep leaderboard. Um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I think anyone could beat anyone out here. It's just uh, you got to get the waves and be in rhythm with the ocean. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to make it that I made it this far, but, um, you know, still got some more to give and just focus on my next wave and my next heat. Have so much fun. We'll see in the semis. Well done. You know, he's been able to do it at the point breaks as you watch the replay here. Quick wave. I think the only thing I would say there is if he was able to go straight into turns after he came out of that barrel, but gosh, how much rhythm does he carry through those maneuvers to the inside? Pretty good start here for Jordy Smith. Showing some variety with the barrel. And these turns, I mean, he's got... Big win at Bells and coming off a quarterfinal finish at home. JB, Jordy Smith is gonna stay busy right now in the backhand with a couple of carbs. Vert there, and unfortunately, just gets a little caught up. Just download the mobile app, the WSL app, to your mobile device. He can play fantasy right on the road. Here we go with John John Florence. Wax it up the top vertical. 12 o'clock lunchtime. Another carve off the top for JJ Florence. And then the wave gets a little bit lazy there. Dynamic first turn. You know, you see usually he'll, if it's going to be a barrel, he's going to set it up from the very early stages. Goes straight to turns. And two strong ones. You know, not going to be a big, huge score, but it's on the board. And again, staying loose and in rhythm very similar to what we saw from gabriel medina in regards to uh just riding a bunch of waves of course it's pretty nice when you start off with a 10 point ride in your first wave gave him 11. here he is again dropping in kind of holding the wall sliding sideways on that foam ball getting wow. the cover up underneath jordy's priority right there so he's going to stack up a couple more chips on the waves coming through here Smithbrook priority. We'll see if he chooses to use it, and he will. Grabs the rail nice. and comes through that section now to the open face. Big roundhouse cutback snaps off the oncoming whitewater. Another redirection for Jordy Smith. Coming through this inside section, a lot of opportunities for turns here. He's going to run out of a little bit of water there. Kicks off into the channel. Straight into it. See it stall there. He almost drifted a little bit. And then able to set the rail and go through the barrel. But look at this, just roundhouse all the way back. When you can uh, hit the lip on the return from that cutback, makes it that much more difficult. Again, maximizing every piece of scoring potential on that wave. Look at it from this angle. There's that little drift, and then sets the rail and keeps the speed, sets the line. Love this cutback. Full figure eight all the way around. Tags it. It's almost like two maneuvers in one. And then another nice carve. So this is going to be a pretty good score. And it comes in at a 6.5. Jordy retakes the lead now. There's a good guy to have in Jordy's corner. Here we go with John John Florence. Stalling, he's in the barrel getting trained. No problem on the exit there. Muscles through that second section. Whack! Throws the tail on that backhand re-entry and kicks out. Perfect answer for John John Florence. Or you you surf your way through it you know you don't necessarily have to wait so long um, because then you can kind of stiffen up if you just keep a rhythm going which i think john has his best success when he has that rhythm he likes to ride lots of waves too so he's going to be able to pick up his best wave here you know the turn too is pretty darn solid a lot of foam on the face but he attacks it gets the spins free a little bit super positive there an idea of surface conditions here. John John Florence is going to surf under the priority of Jordy Smith. Parks in the barrel, travels for quite a time in there, just disappears. Top car up to a vertical lip bash. John John, look at the goods right here. Closes this out. It's going to drag the fins across the reef. Well, Jordy would have known that, but you don't want to give up priority on a wave this small, especially when you feel like there's going to be a set at some point because I think that priority right now and getting that, that best wave in a heat is more important than, than the lead. Right. And I think, that, so it's a good choice. I mean, I know he would have said, oh gosh, this is probably enough for the, for the four, six, seven, you know, the size of the wave, but it's not that golden gem that if you take that wave, you don't improve a score, you give up priority to John. Oh, here we Was go. Was that worth 
Jordy utilizing his priority. This wave, perhaps, is way more worth it, way more size. Can Jordy Smith come in the barrel? Yes, he can. Can he come out? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. And that's exactly why Jordy Smith let John John take that smaller inside wave. And Jordy's going to hammer through here. So, Pete, I'm going to have to concur with you. Too much time on the clock to, to block. And this is exactly what Jordy needed to have happen. Find himself a nice, clean barrel. Came out with speed. You know, he didn't let that wave knock him slow. And then the nice roundhouse cutback once again. So he finishes with the maneuvers. You have to say this feels like it's going to be right there with the best wave of the heat, the 7.0 of John Florence. Much bigger wave. I just love how he came out of that with speed. You know, there was a lot of water there that he had to punch through. And then the maneuvers he did. So unfazed, Jordy Smith. I like how he's putting together this heat. This Maybe just one more try, and this is going to be it for John John. This is way up the reef, too. So he's going to have to do something ultra special. Turns his nose up at it. That's he's it. going to let the clock tick down. Jordy Smith's going to take a ride into the channel. He is going to be our first surfer in semifinal number two here at the Billabong Pro Tahiti. He's also going to be looking for a gold hanger to put on the new Jeep, the yellow Jeep leader's jersey.